Hello, I'm Pat Harvey. The LAPD is closer to getting its hands on drones. The police commission's decision today sets the stage for the department to add them to its arsenal. But not everyone's happy about it. CBS 2's Dave Lopez is live at police headquarters with the story. Dave. Well, with a little friend of all, uh, Pat, for uh, a prop here, if you will, the drone right next to me. I'm standing at L.A. Police Headquarters, where right you are. They uh, took step one in making drones part of the arsenal. Now, it is going to be a very controversial two to three months because there will be town hall meetings, there will be feedback, but the LAPD is quite determined. They want the drones in their system. They think it will add to the police work and also be safe for officers. But, oh, the controversy. The UAS would be deployed in limited situations governed by strict criteria. LAPD Assistant Chief B. Gramala never used the word drone when discussing the possible use of drones in front of today's police commission meeting. Drone free, LAPD, drone free. The reaction today inside the boardroom when the commissioners announced they will form a committee that will take a closer look at the use of drones. I am going to come back with a... With a Assistant Chief Gramala told me that she knows the word drone causes controversy. She told me that's why she purposely avoided using the word, constantly referring to drones as, quote, UAS, unmanned aerial system. They will not be weaponized or modified for any weapons-related applications. It won't be used to spy on or utilized without a search warrant in non-emergency situations. She used an example. Santa Monica College shooting in June of 2013. She said a drone would have helped immensely in trying to locate the shooter or other victims who had been shot that day. But none of that appeased the audience. We don't need drones and we're gonna fight this. Nobody wants these things. But the commission said it's important to go forward. Our challenge is going to be to develop strong policies and oversight. And that will be the next step. Have town hall meetings throughout the city, establish guidelines, and if all goes well, in about two to three months, the LAPD will have at least two drones at their disposal. We believe that we can keep the public safer by using these type of devices. We also believe we can keep police officers safer. So the drone continues to give you that bird's eye view as I stand here in front of uh, the police headquarters. A lot to be determined yet, just how often to use the drones, how high they'll fly, where they'll be deployed, how long they'll be up in the air, how many officers will be trained. All of those questions must still be answered. All the while, the controversy about whether to use the drone or not is going to go on. But judging by today, the drones are here, technology is here, and LAPD says we can't ignore that.